Hello, this is Pat Hood from Passions of Pastimes. I'm going to try to give you an idea of this great big 16 pound jewelry jar. As you can see, there are some uh, necklaces on the top. Um, quite a variety of things. There are beads in little packages and there are necklaces on the bottom. Let me just try to turn it again. Um, so some sort of vintage style things, some pearls, that's probably a cuff, some seed beads, I don't know if those are and part of a necklace. There's some uh, rhinestone-y things. So this is going to be quite the adventure and then a whole bunch of bees like we've seen in the previous two jars. Set the camera down, slice open the plastic on the top and dig in. So this big huge jar I saw before Christmas in the store and it was $40 and I said that's too much money and then there was a December 27th Boxing Day sale 50% off jewelry and I said $20 is a fine price when I got it home <laughs> and uh, had my I went to weigh it. I couldn't weigh it on my regular scale, which only weighs up to 10 pounds. I had to weigh it on our great big uh, champion, our restored antique scale. And my husband had a great time weighing it. So 16 pounds of jewelry. Now, here are some... Oh, necklaces. So I'm wondering if these necklaces were made by the person who also got rid of all the beads because here's a lovely pair of earrings attached to this ne necklace. Um, it's a little bit short. Let's see what it says here. Oh, maybe not. 18 inches and a bit of an extension, maybe a two inch extender. So very wearable, kind of cute for uh, Maybe Valentine's Day, cute with a little t-shirt, and some nice uh, dangly matching earrings to go with it. Look at this, this is quite cute. This is tons of beads on um, head pins and then attached, separated by, um, I guess, seed beads on this little chain. It's a very pretty design. And it has a little bit of an extender, nice little matching bead on the end. I like that the fact that there's other colors with the greens. So very pretty greens. If I can, there we go. And then these sort of browny purpley colors in there. Nicely done. No earrings, but a certainly could make a matching set of earrings to go with those. This is different. So these, uh, again, glass um, with glass cubes and seed beads in between. I like the little dark spacers that are here. Those are like little bead caps, I guess. Let's see. Little flower so just measuring this, this is about a 15 inch necklace with a 2 inch extender. Um, I guess the only thing I'm not sure about is the color of the clasp. Actually I probably would have put a silver clasp on this. These um, just look like standard um, inexpensive class so that would be easily changed be nice to have a pair of earrings to go with this it's a little short but um, probably best uh, with that little little dangle um, for that style here's another necklace that's in the 
Well, this is a little bit longer. I'd say 17 inches. It's, these look quite pinkish on the camera. It could be my background, sort of the reflection of the red, um, as opposed to these, which are, these look pinkish on camera, but are clear. Um, I, mm, the combination's okay, but not great. It might probably look nice on a, you know, with a plain colored shirt underneath it, the right color, a you know, very summery look. Um, there's no dangle on I definitely, this needs a dangle on it. I might have put clear up here or put some creamy or off-white colors down there. Sorry, it's a little difficult to say. Anyway, that one's a little slightly unfinished, but a bit longer than the previous one. This is a very, this is a cute one. This is a two inch dangle, um, 16 inch necklace. It's got these aqua sort of salmony and white beads with, uh, with clear and then the clear, um, oval spacers in between them. Very pretty. Nice combination. Nicely put together. Not too tight. Nicely strung. I'll have to see if I... I think I have some beads like this. I could make some earrings to match with that. Not that everything needs matching earrings. It's just... Uh, it would be a nice set. Here's... Uh, I wish I could remember what these are called... They have a, not crystal light, but they have a, a name that it reminds me of three-dimensional, but it, that's not what it is. Anyway, this is a, a, a cute little design as well. I'm not sure how it would feel against the neck, all these squares. Um, but uh, nicely put together, just in need of, a, I think, of a little dangle to finish it off. And what length have we got here? So, uh, seven, about 17, and then most of these all seem to have a two inch extender. Here's something a little different. This is quite pretty. Um, sort of similar to the, um, I think we found a dangle like this in the first jar, but a pink one. Okay, maybe there's a necklace missing a dangle. This one is 16 inches. It's a little too tightly strung. You can see how it doesn't sit quite, I mean, it might be fine on the neck. It just doesn't, could be the way it's clasped here. Oh, and it's got, it's odd in that it's got a silver clasp on a with gold findings, so that that definitely needs uh, to be changed. But no, this the fact that it goes wonky here when it's lying down, it's just a little tightly strung, so that uh, might just need to be hung with a weight to stretch it up a little bit to make it straighten. Oh, that it's getting better already. Definitely needs the the lobster claw clasp change, but that's a very pretty little necklace in the browns with the little dangle. Nice glass beads. Um, what else have we got here? Here's a blue one. Oh, this is a... Oh, okay, so here's a pair of earrings. On the... And then this is a double chain necklace in the blues beautiful blues um, so it's all glass it's fairly heavy this one it this one center necklace is a little short it's just 14 inches so that's definitely a double choker for most people most people can't wear 14 inches so 
I'm not sure how saleable that is, but it has at least it has matching uh, earrings. This is pretty. Well, this is might be where that little dangle could go that I had found. Nicely finished chain. Um, nice sparkly combination of. Uh, faux pearls and these faceted beads with the Aurora Borealis finish. Very, very pretty colors. I like those. But again, tiny, tiny. Uh, tw 13 inches and a 2 inch extender. That's a, we have to be very sophisticated for, a, you know, maybe a prom necklace for a teenager. That's too short for most adults. This is interesting. Sorry, I had it out of the camera. This is it's um a, a nice way to coordinate these sort of peacock rainbowy beads. Um Yeah, I'm not I'm not too sure though that it's successful. I've got it, I'm measuring it the wrong way. Oh, it's a little longer. Whoops, sorry, camera. It's actually in the 18 inches range. So that's. Uh, A little different, a little longer. This is all clear glass beads. It's relatively heavy because of the, these are large, um, nicely um, put together. The the clasp is a little small for my taste, but then, you know, us older ladies get a little fumble fingered over time. So. 16, I would say 17 inches long. It's very pretty. It's all out of necklaces. What have we got so far? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And uh, I've just, this is just from the top of the jar. There, we're back into some more blues. This is a little bit longer. This is. Uh, 18 plus the extender um, blue and clear or blue and white they always go nicely together it's got a nice uh, focal bead for the pendant it's that's just the way the focal beads made that you can see where the string goes through because it's worse on that side but that's probably not very noticeable when you're wearing it very nice. I've already forgotten how many I counted. Maybe you'll remember. This one's nice with uh, the bead caps, a little more uh, formal design. Sort of the, the matte uh, rectangles and the matte um, larger sort of, I don't know, what do you call that? sort of a bicone shape that's very pretty needs some earrings to go with it but nice dangle again these little lobsters are a little small little stick lobster claw clasps how long is this one uh 18 inches oh that's very pretty see that uh that one with a little more elegant dress well here's some they almost look like jade Oh, this is nicely done. Okay, so we've got the green glass with these sort of little peacock beads. That's interesting. I, I, as long as they would all stay the same direction when you were wearing it, that's the only thing I'd worry about. And I think the lobster claw clasp is better suited for this size of uh, the beads that are on there, so that's not bad. 
and another uh, 16 inch with 2 inch extender. This would probably be nice if there was a little black uh, bead on that. Well, that's kind of pretty. A little more modern design, too. No. This is uh, a rainbow necklace. So we've got blue, light blue, red, a greeny color, a brighter green, aqua, kind of a gray, a deeper blue, more royal blue, clear light blue. So, yeah, a rainbow effect. This is a fun necklace. Very pretty, nicely strung. Here I am taking it out of the... <laughs> Sorry about that. Um... So the 2X extender, this one's 20 inches, so this is a bit longer. Nice. Okay, this one's, I see the intent. As you can see, I'm trying to get all these beads to lie the same way. There we go. Now. Are they going to get out of, see how as soon as I touch it, it, they pop out of place? I wonder how practical that is to wear. I'd hate to have them, see now they're all, I can't even get them to stay. I don't know. What's the verdict on this one? I, I guess I'd have to try it on and see how it went. I don't have a. Uh, a neck shaped mannequin here that I could try it out and see what happened. Once you've got them in place, they seem to stay. Well, no, they. As soon as I touch them, they don't stay there. So, pretty blues, but uh, and a little tiny short thing again. Oh, not that short. 16, 2 inch extender. But, uh, yeah, I'm not sure how successful that is. Now, this is interesting. This has got a toggle clasp on a necklace. And I all, I tend to think of toggle clasps for bracelets. Uh, I guess they're fine for necklaces. I'd have to try uh, check it out. This is, this is interesting. It's um, got some nice chain here. And then bead caps on these beads which make it a little more uh, elegant and interesting as well it's a bit longer 22 inches there's no adjustment so if you that's maybe why I think I don't think maybe that's why I'm thinking toggle class aren't the best for necklaces because if you want it to be shorter you have no way of shortening it with the toggle clasp. I don't know how to really show this to you really well. Maybe that's the best way. Um, the, it's kind of elegant, but maybe edgy at the same time with these triangle beads. Um, interesting. An interesting design. Well, that's... Uh, just the beginning of the jar and we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen necklaces so far um they're not my own work but i could certainly resell them. Some of them I would take apart and redo a little bit differently. Interesting. Well, um, 18 necklaces. Let's see what else is in this jewelry jar. I'm just going to put these off to the side. Thank goodness the necklaces were all closed, so they, and they're, they're the designs, kind of designs that don't, uh, uh, tangle up now oh looks like we got bracelets next 
in the jar. Some beads and bags. I'm gonna let's try to get some bracelets and then it'll probably be time to take a break. Um, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so nine bracelets. Let's start out here. So this is what? Oh, little flower beads. Very pretty, pink and green. And these are, they look all about the same length. So that's um, measures eight inches. Let's see what it's like on my wrist. A tiny lobster claw clasp, a little bit big. These would have to be, see this is way too big for my wrist. So, um, and I couldn't, and there's an extender. So are these, does that mean they're anklets? I know seven inches is sort of the standard for, um, but yeah, this could just, this this is too big for a bracelet, but it's very pretty. I would make it, some, I don't, see I don't, I was gonna say, I don't see many people wearing anklets here in Canada, that's because like five months of cold weather um, of winter. I was gonna say that you don't I don't see many people wearing anklets and that's because in Canada we have so many months of cold weather and uh, so few months of warm weather when you your ankles would be exposed so I think this would make a much nicer bracelet than an anklet it's too big for a bracelet I can just sort of slide it on and it's it's just too big but it's very pretty. I like the beads. One. Here's another one. Is it the same problem? Yeah. So, and also they've got all got extenders. So, pretty. Nice little uh, buttery yellow. Very pretty, but one. Too long. This one has no extender. Oh, yes, it does. There's the extender there. These are just uh, sort of orangey beads. Yeah, orange. Again, anklet size. Another anklet size. Someone's gone to a lot of work to make these. This is cool. That's a little smaller. I would... Uh, Either make that into a necklace or slightly shorten it. This is cute. That's uh, with all the dangly beads. That's really cute. But again, too big for a bracelet. And it needs a uh, it, it needs something on the extender there if it's gonna look finished. But that's very pretty. Very pretty. Love these glass beads. And then uh, this is cubes and little tiny bicones. Interesting combination. I can zoom in better. There we go. Yeah. Um, or are they just little? Oh, uh, sorry. No, they're not bicones. They're like just little fire polished ovals or rounds um, pretty but again anklet maybe a bride's anklet that could work there's the one that's finished properly um, the nice greens I don't know that exactly if there was a, a necklace that matched that and then here's one with uh, little clears and pinks that's quite pretty too. Um, wow, so I think there was nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine anklets. If you wear lots of anklets and you'd like any of these, give me a shout in the comments and I'll uh, get one to you for a very good price. Otherwise, I have some work cut out for me in, um, in adjusting these. So it's, it's never fun having to go back and redo these uh, clamshells at a bit shorter length. It's possible, though. So very interesting. Well, it's uh, over 20 minutes now with our my introduction, so I'm going to pause there. If we look at the jar, we've barely gotten into it. Um, so I don't know how many parts it'll take, but this is re a really interesting jewelry adventure for me with all this pre-made jewelry, this new, um, uh, you know, someone's you know, many months of work probably. I uh, hope you've enjoyed the video. Take care and we'll uh, see you back soon.